most traders can't put a name on their trades. Maybe that's why most traders are losing. Let's go deeper. Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. So in Monday's video, I told you guys that I was going to have a very special video for you. So this is it. We're about to really drop some secret sauce. Okay. So in, in Monday's video, we saw what I call the secret, the secret sequence, right? And we saw second entries and then we said it's always followed up by higher lows. And I was going to explain to you why, but I made you wait till today. So today I'm going to give you the why that happens okay the how that happens because second entries are very natural trades okay let me say that again second entries are very natural trades that's why i can put a name on it higher lows are very natural trades that's why i can put a name on it and so in this video i mean just hope hope buckle up okay buckle up because i'm about to explain to you <laughs> why it's important to be able to put a name on a trade okay see most traders are losing again because they're using bad common trading knowledge that their competition is putting out into the industry they have everybody using lagging indicators okay and so basically they've turned everybody into counter trend traders and this is what i mean by this well this is what i mean by that statement most people are using the indicators basically to counter trend trade okay so you're putting on a stochastic you're putting on a cci you're putting on let's just say you're using four different indicators and typically the indicator is saying all right we're 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 overbought right let's say trend, let's say prices have been going up typically the indicator is trying to tell you that we're overbought and then you have all these indications okay when this line is over zero when this is in the center of the histogram when you get three or something whatever you know the market's probably about to turn. So then you go short, right? That's counter trend trading. Because if the if the indicator is actually telling you <laughs> that you're in an uptrend, but you use the indicator to decide when the market is gonna turn, you are actually counter trend trading because the market is in an uptrend, okay? And again, these indicators lag behind. So don't just don't get me started, okay? Don't, don't, don't get me started on indicators. And I know somebody's gonna say, uh, well, JD, you use indicators, the 21 EMA is indicator. <sighs> okay, I use one indicator, if you just wanna be Mr. Smarty Pants, but really, I don't. The 21 EMA, okay, is a moving average. It's the last 21 bars average price. That is not an indicator, in my opinion, okay? I know it's in the indicator section, <laughs> okay? but it's a moving average that's different than uh indic than using an indicator to tell me that the market is overbought or oversold and and taking my whole trade based off of what that indicator is saying totally different ball game totally different ball game so i use the 21 ema and i use the zigzag just so i can count legs easier in my opinion those aren't indicators but whatever all right now here's the deal here's the deal sometimes to believe it you have to see it all right sometimes to believe it you have to see it so today today we about to go to the whiteboard and if you're new to this channel <laughs> when i go to the whiteboard get your pen out get your paper out all right it's time to take notes okay because the boy is finna drop some hot fire for you all right so we finna go to this whiteboard and i'm gonna blow your mind all right hold up hey ladies Ladies, grab your wigs. You might want to take them off, put them to the side. Fellas, get them two pairs together because to, I'm about to blow your mind. Let's get it to the whiteboard. Okay, your boy has made it to the whiteboard. Now, let's, let's do this. Let me do a little bit of drawing here. Let me get my brushes. Uh, let me see if I can thicken up the line. Okay. This might be too thick, but yeah, that's a little too thick. Hold on. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's... Uh, that was a little too thick. This one probably too thick too. Boy, all these are too thick. Let me just go back to the regular. I'm wasting time here. Okay. 
So here we go, people. We have a trend up. Doom, doom, doom. Okay. This is our market cycle, right? You guys see me talk about the market cycle every day. You see me trade it in trade examples every day. This is the market cycle, right? Trend up, two legs back, retest to a new high. Classic price action, price action market cycle that happens in the market each and every day. Okay, now, buckle up time, all right? I need everybody to say this together. I once was blind, but now I see. <laughs> One more time. I once was blind, but now I see. Let's go in. So here's why second entries are natural, is a natural trade. It's a natural part of price action. Follow your boy from this high right here. Down. Let me get another color. Up, first entry. Down. Right here, up. Second entry long. Did I just blow your mind? Did I just blow your mind? With trend. Okay. See that? We're not we're not counter trend trading. This trade here may look like it's counter trend because you was looking at these two correction legs, but we understand the market cycle. These are just correction legs. When we break higher again here with a green candle, we're going with trend. We're trying to catch the continuation leg of the market cycle. And the second entry long is a natural pattern that happens. Everybody say it together. I once was blind, <laughs> but now I see. That's it, all right? That's, that is it. All right, now let me take that off. Now let's go deeper. So, if you've been trading for any amount of time, if you've been trading for any amount of time, you already know that when the market is truly trending, it looks very similar to a staircase, right? You get that staircase action. It's that up, a little push down. 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 It's that up, right? That's nothing, but that looks very similar to a staircase, all right? Let me blow your mind again. Blow your mind again. This right here is a low. This point right here is a higher low. This point right here is a higher low. This point right here is a higher low anybody picking up what i'm putting down so when we were in the market cycle and we had that you know that trend up then we had that one back two back and then the second entry trigger right here right right here was that second entry this is why higher lows always follow second entries this is why higher lows always follow second entries if we was going short it would be the same thing it's all it's why uh second entry shorts are followed by lower highs everything would be in reverse okay say it one more time i once was blind <laughs> but now i see can you are you can you guys see it this is why price action is king okay this is why we don't need indicators because price action is king i'm about to go deeper i'm not even done yet all right so then let's say while all this is happening remember we use the 21 ema which is a moving average okay so once prices get so far away from the 21 EMA, they have to snap back to it. It's going, it's going, prices have to come back to the 21 EMA, okay? Because it's a moving average. And so then this is how you get this type of pattern. 
we're trending good all these is about four or five or six green candles up you got to use your imagination this is about four or five green candles in a row then you get this look boom boom first entry boom and then you get a beautiful signal counter right here boom second entry long and guess what when you get this second entry long off the EMA all it does is restart this pattern and next thing you're gonna get is a higher low and a higher low and a higher low this is how people 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 my loves my family my, my peeps this is how you win 10 15 trades in a row <laughs> this is how you know you become a consistently profitable trader by understanding the market cycle the rule of two and the fact yes i'm calling it a fact the fact that the second entry setup is a natural part of price action okay so we can put a name on our trades the reason we can put our name on our trades is because they're natural they're natural to the market cycle in the, the sooner you believe in the market cycle the sooner you believe in the rule of two the sooner you learn how to spot the market cycle the sooner you learn how to spot a second entry the sooner you learn how to spot higher lows the quicker your trading journey will change forever okay <laughs> forever and this is the kind of stuff i teach in my course i teach you how to spot the market cycle how to spot the rule of two how to take second entries how to take how to lows how to take rally based rallies how to take drop based drops how to take range fades because if the market ain't turning like this it's going straight across like this in a range then this is the only time that we actually counter trend trade when it gets to the top we sell when it gets to the bottom we buy when it gets to the top and you don't need nothing but a signal candle get to the top that's why we teach signal candle theory also so bam there it is my people the market cycle second entries are normal natural patterns that occur in a in a efficient market cycle each and every day learn them live by them profit by them it's the only trade you need in trading period all right so i hope you enjoyed this lesson I, i'm hoping your mind is blown i'm really hoping your mind is blown i'm hoping that hey you once was blind but now you see and y'all already know what we should put in the comments today right right for everybody who was digging this one today i mean if you was digging it i mean if you gotta go from your go from the tv hop on the computer re replay the video whatever you gotta do to get to the comment section if you was really feeling this right look out for your boy today on this one on this video everybody comment and say now i see shoot stop playing around out here let's let's get to that work study lesson roll it hey guys how's it going jd here in this work study lesson we're actually going to be looking at bitcoin otc you, if you guys don't know i love bitcoin for several reasons um now this is actually I ain't gonna say, it's not my first time trading it and maybe my second time trading it though on pocket options and otc of course you guys know i love um buying real bitcoin and holding it as a long-term investment strategy and also i love trading bitcoin in the forex uh, because when it moves i mean it moves and you make good money really fast um but i didn't you know people have been asking me about the bitcoin and pocket option in the otc market and i just don't know because there are so many other options that i just said I, I don't know about the volume yet in um the crypto market and pocket option but today happens to be sunday morning right so it's an early sunday morning so what that really means is in the real world right um the stock market is still closed everything is still closed except for the crypto market you know so like if you are trading forex bitcoin is bitcoin ethereum you know cardona the cryptos they're still trading right now uh, you know they never stop so what happened is i was looking at my regular pairs and all of them was moving sideways you know which basically means there's not much volume then i started looking at the crypto pairs 
and they were making some setups. So I don't know. Sundays may be crypto day. We'll we'll have to see. You know, we'll definitely look again next Sunday. Um, but Sundays may be crypto day. Sundays may be a good day to switch over to look at the crypto pairs because the real market is actually open. And so maybe OTC is is closer to a real market than we know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But I clearly saw better volume um, in the cryptos today. OK, so that's why I'm trading Bitcoin, just because anybody asked. Now, what do we have here? A beautiful trend up. <laughs> I mean, undeniable, beautiful trend up. Then we got a trend down, trend break, retest, new low. This market cycle is basically over. Now, it didn't make the legs like I like because this one is way bigger than this one. But it was just a beautiful move down. And I actually saw the prices over here. Um, but we're going to look at all the possible entries. So, but when I seen it over here, I had even more confidence that we probably was headed up. But let's start at the first entry you could have had from right here. This is nothing but a first entry. Boom. Push down. That's a second entry long right there. Now, it's slightly outside of the sweet spot. But if you look all the way to the left, dun, 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 boom, right here. Rally, base, rally. I mean, if I see that and I see us turn right here, what I mean, I get a second entry long right here with a nice signal candle, which this is broke lower, trapped all the shorts, pushed up, closed nearly on its top, higher than the bar to the left. And I'll see this rally base rally over here. Hey, that's OK. And it worked like a second entry, like you expect a second entry long to work. OK, then you get the low push up, higher low. You go right here. That's nice. Close the buddy EMA. Close higher than the bar to the left. Another nice signal candle. Let's count this one up though. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, it was close, but you got it. All right, it was close, but you got it. Now this is another one. Low push up, higher low, but that one does not work out. So they they did throw a dud in there. Cause this this is a this is the best signal candle out of all of them if you take a look at it broke lower again beautiful candle closed on this top closed higher than the bar to the left that's the best one out of all of them and it's a clear low push up higher low above the ma that's actually wifey's trade this is one of the rare times you see wifey's trade lose but it did right there one two three four five hey so nothing is certain in this market right but this is about the time where i came in the market i believe and i was looking at this as a low push up push up come back higher low right here is how I saw it by the time I started looking. And we broke a buddy MA again, closed on his top. Now I have a target here and here. I liked that entry. And it worked. One, two, three, four, five. Then when you get a big monster like this that breaks out of a whole bunch of congestion and you still got a target up here, I actually liked going here again too. I think I hesitated a little bit. So it really looks like I went on this candle, but it was it was based on this monster here. There was just a huge, strong candle, cleared everything to the left. And again, we're coming out the sweet spot here, people. All right. We've already made a low. We've already made a low. We're making higher lows, right? Each one of these is higher. This one, it starts here. Then this one is higher. Then this one is higher. We're making higher lows. So that's a clear sign that we're moving up. And this bar broke strong out of the sweet spot. I like it. Then you get another one. Low push up. However you look at either one of these is higher low. Look at this candle break higher. Close above there. Again, we still ain't hit the target. We still got a target here and here. There's a long way to go. And this one was the homer, right? So that sealed the deal. I really wanted to go here because this kind of had that same premise of a breakout candle broke higher than everything. We've cleared. We basically have cleared resistance when you get a candle like this. So I'm actually marked that blue. I didn't take it, but I actually wanted to. And it would have worked. So this is one of those rare candles here that is not a second entry long. It's not a higher low. It's actually a breakout candle. And I'm, I'm not I'm usually against breakout strategies overall but when you trade long enough you kind of know what you're doing you kind of just know when you get a candle like this that clears all this kind of that clears all this here and your target is still here is worth a shot that one there is kind of worth a shot that's that trade is 
that that's a that's actually a high probability breakout trade because we're coming off the bottoms. You're making higher highs. I mean, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Breakout clears everything. You can go there. Okay, this that's more an advanced trade. Don't try it every day. But when you see it in this situation, I kind of regret it not going there. And that was a, that's another home run. One, two, three, four. I mean, that's a clear home run. Well, this one was a home run too. So I had a home run in the back either way. I could have just doubled up on my homer. It's what could have happened there. But, and then we run up and I wanted to take this candle, but they dropped a the percent down. And it would have won too. One, two, three, four, five. Cause it's another, well, not. This one is his first entry. Oh, excuse me, this one is a second entry long, believe it or not. Start from this top right here. Push up, first entry. Push down, broke higher. So that's actually a second entry long. See, second entry longs happen with trend and they happen at the start of the turn too, many times. Um, and it would have worked one, two, three, four, five. It would have been close, but you would have skated. Okay. So that's what I saw. So, hey, cryptos on Sunday might be a thing. We'll see. You know, we'll have to watch it. But we had our pattern trend up two legs back to the sweet spot and look at this thing to make the continuation leg. It, it, it was it was coming. I mean, let's draw it up so you can see it. If you don't know what I mean by continuation leg, this is basically leg one. This is correction leg one, co co <laughs> correction leg two. This is the continuation leg that we're actually trying to catch with this sweet spot trade. The sweet spot trade, this zone is just about where we think prices could turn. But what we're, the, the gist of what we're trying to do, the essence of what we're trying to do is catch the second leg of a good trend because we understand the market cycle, which is this right here and the rule of two. Trend up, trend up, two legs back, trend break, retest to new highs. So we expect prices to get higher than right here. Can I draw a circle? Not really, but we expect prices to get higher than right here. We expect this leg to keep going and get higher than here. That's how prices move the, and, and they do it in twos. The market moves in twos. Oh, real quick, leg one. Leg one correction, leg two correction, leg two continuation of this uptrend. The market moves in twos. I mean, the sooner you believe that, the better trader you will become. All right, so this is a great time to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys staying this long. Of course, I have a trade example for you. And so, hey, let's roll it.
I appreciate you watching all the way to the end of the video. If you need to learn more price action trading, watch this video right here. It will really help you. And please like, subscribe if you really was feeling what I put down in this video, all right? So my name is JD, and as always, I wish you increase on the sudden. Bye-bye.